hello friends in this video let's talk about what is the difference between power bi report server and ssrs report server look and feel prospect to both are same when i say look and feel it's not a report look and feel it's a application wise if you open a power bi report server manager so this is a power bi report server manager this is exactly same as SSRS report manager. So the change what you can observe here is instead of your Power BI, you will be seeing a SQL Server reporting services. And here you will get a Microsoft logo than Power BI logo here. And you will get like a home, browse, favorites, new, upload and all everything is same. And if you click on this download option here, you will get Power BI related stuff here. But there you will get a SSRS related stuff there. So the look and feel, the report manager look and feel is always the same. The functionality is also the same. But when you go to internal report, so that report is developed by using SSRS. This report is is developed by using Power BI. So that is the first look and feel prospect too. The security mechanism and all goes in the same way. And the main difference is SSRS is a traditional reporting platform so ssrs is a traditional reporting platform let us say so let's take a um, line here so here is a uh, like a ssrs so here let's keep it as a here as a um, power bi so it's a power bi okay so uh, if you see in ssrs is a traditional reporting platform. Traditional reporting platform, but Power BI is a modern reporting platform. Okay, so if you want to develop like a paginated reports or with a traditional reporting platform, you can go with a SSRS, but Power BI will give you the modern capacities, modern capabilities, I mean, Okay, so you, you can improve the uh, look and feel of the report by adding like a, a cutting edge graphs. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then what is the SSRS report manager? So to view the data in a database, we use a SSRS report manager. But in the same way, so Microsoft has introduced in 2017. But see, when, when you come here, this SSRS report server has been introduced in 2005 itself. But when you come here, so this has been introduced in 2017. I'm talking about only report server. Report server. Okay, so then why, why uh, they introduced a bit late? But Power BI has come up with a Power BI service actually. If you see it, so Power BI has come up with a Power BI service a bit ahead of time. Bit ahead of time. But you need to host those reports in the cloud. For example, if your data is not in the cloud, okay, let us say your warehouse is not in the cloud or your database is not in the cloud, but still that report you have to host in the cloud. If the data is more sensitive, more critical, then customers may not show too much of interest to host the reports in the Power BI service cloud. So let's 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 keep that uh, licensing prospect to a little away from now. But if you see here, you need to host your reports in the cloud. Most of the customers are not showing interest in deploying the sensitivity data because of uh, critical risk and all all factors. So that is the reason why Microsoft has come up with a report server, Power BI report server. So Power BI report server will come on the on premise in your area, in your area. So you can, you can generate a Power BI user interface now, Power BI. So like, like SSRS report manager or SSRS uh, report uh, server or manager, whatever it is. In the same way, so you can also develop a Power BI report manager. So now you can 
deploy your modern reports in the on premise so this is also like ssrs also on on premises in the same way you can so now the difference here is so ssrs report manager is on on premise but it's a traditional reporting platform power bi report manager is on the on premise it's a modern reporting platform now you you might get a question like is ssrs is going to retire no it's a different pla different platform again it's a traditional reporting platform still people are using again it it, it goes couple of years without any doubt now let's come back to the concept <coughs> So now Power BI report server or Power BI report manager is the one which host on the on premise with a modern capacities. Now, so do I need to buy a specific licenses? First of all, let's come to the SSRS licensing. <laughs> so if you have any uh, like a standard SQL server of standard license or enterprise license. So then you, you can use SSRS without any second thought in the same way. <coughs> So if you have, if you already bought a Power BI service for some reasons, so you have on pre, uh, premium Power BI service license or SQL enterprise license. Let me, s okay, one second. Yeah. Okay. So it's not coming. Let's me try it here. Let's key, leave, leave it that. Yeah. Enterprise license. Okay, so both both works like a, if you have any of um, either Power BI premium license or if you already have SQL license with you, enterprise license with you, then you can directly go for a Power BI report manager and you can uh, host your uh, reports. So what is the software you need to use for this? <coughs> for this, you need to use SQL Server Data Tools or Report Builder. report builder here to develop this power bi report manager reports i'm talking about so here you can use power bi desktop report server version so desktop report server version let me make it here and say let me make it as a desktop so in the previous video so i i talked about how to download and how to install power bi desktop report server version so there is a different version normal power bi desktop is a different version and power bi desktop report server version is a different version you will be using this <coughs> so this is how we differentiate with a um, ssrs report manager with uh, power bi report manager so as i told you gui prospecto almost the same if the people are users if the developers or user are familiar with ssrs report manager then there is no difference in uh, GUI with the people who uses who know how to use a power BI report server or like sorry SSRS report server they can easily go with a power BI report manager or power BI report server whatever it is it hope you know that you have two component power BI report server as well as report manager so while configuring we I showed you detail like what is server what is manager <coughs> next security is also the same so there is no nothing to worry if you already know how to implement the security in uh, SSRS, in the same way, we implement the security, same as SSRS, let me say. Same as uh, SSRS. <coughs> in the next video, I'll, I'll talk about how to implement uh, security in uh, Power BI Report Manager as well. So if you have questions, like you can just um, uh, view that, like um, for a detailed uh, information. And folder structure and like a security, when I say it's a site level security or like a different levels of security you have in um, SSRS as well as in the a power bi so next so you you can apply some themes as well customized themes you have uh, starting from ssrs 2017 in the same way you have customized themes here also you can apply branding let us say you can apply branding so let us see here so you you can apply if you go here some settings you can see the branding as well you can apply some branding so by default is um and none like it's a default uh, microsoft uh, uh, branding so you you can upload your uh, uh, branding as well if you already have a style and all you can upload directly so this is how so we do apply a branding 
so now security schedules also we can do scheduling also same as like a normal so you can do the scheduling here also you can you can apply you can apply the same scheduling same as sorry same as SRS and same as scheduling okay so hope you understand the differences between uh, power bi report manager and ssrs report manager through this video there are couple of similarities are there couple of advantages are there okay so that is the reason why uh, nowadays people are more using the power bi report manager so due to main reason is on premise and you might be already having a license of either power bi premium or sql enterprise so you can make use of the same um, licensing for this as well it applies to the similar number of course as well so that's all about it this if you have any questions so please watch the previous videos on the installation side so out of that if you have any other questions please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you thank you for watching